interviewed Mr. Ray Swain back in 2004 about the history of his shop on Norton Road, Pelsall. I was surprised to say the least when he started to tell me about paranormal activity at his shop. In issue 31 of Pelsall Times, back in May 2004, I interviewed Mr Ray Swain and published an article about the history of T.R. Swain Electrical Limited on Norton Road, Pelsall. When Mr Swain bought the shop in 1947, it was a very different place to when it closed back in December 2004. In the beginning, the shop was like many others on the Norton Road at the time, in that the front room of the building was used as a shop, and the rest of the property was host to a number of other people and other businesses. The first floor of the building had two separate rooms, which were divided by a short corridor. At the rear of the building was an old cobbler's shop, which was run by Mr Collier. This rather precarious building was constructed out of wood and biscuit tins. At this time, in addition to running the cobbler shop at the rear of the building, the first floor was let out as a flat to Mr Collier. At the rear of the downstairs room, there was an old wash house, a brew house and a baker's oven outside. Prior to becoming Mr Swain's electrical shop, the shop had been a very Victorian greengrocer's shop owned by Mrs Cooper. When Mr Swain first bought the shop, which at the time had two huge sash windows at the front, with vertical bars running down them, he asked Mrs Cooper if she minded if he removed the bars. The old lady flatly refused, saying they stopped horses from going through the glass if they got out of control coming down the Norton Road. As Mr Swain's business grew, Mr Collier vacated the premises and by the mid-1950s the bars were removed and the old cobbler shop was demolished and the building was extended. By 1966, T.R. Swain Electrical Limited occupied the ground floor and Sheila's Fashions, run by his wife, occupied the first floor. It was after all the changes when Mr and Mrs Swain had their first brush with paranormal activity at the shop, which they attributed to the late previous tenants. Early on, both Mr and Mrs Swain started to see the ghost of a man and a woman on the first floor, which they made a conscious effort to ignore. As paranormal activity intensified, the focus of what appeared to be poltergeist activity centred around the first floor. When opening up one morning, Mr and Mrs Swain discovered that the first floor of the building had been completely trashed, causing over £8,000 worth of damage. There was definitely no evidence of a burglary since nothing had been taken. Rather things had been thrown around everywhere and damaged. Mr and Mrs Swain were certain that it was the ghost of Mr Collier who did not like the changes to his old home. In addition to this incident, some time later damage was caused to the Wendy's wall section on the first floor one evening. Again, there was no evidence of a burglary, so they put the disturbance down to Mrs Cooper, who must have been very unhappy about the changes they had made to the shop, including the removal of the vertical bars.